Ohio Central let them play in the stall for a, a good amount of time in the ball game. And Shelby finally picked up the pace after they got the lead in that uh, spread offense stand. Yeah, and the reason they went to the stall is because RS went into the zone and uh, would not come out of it. And Coach Harfield uh, uh, took that with a small, slight lead and just held it. And they were allowed to do it, and it went on for quite a while, as you mentioned. But uh, Coach Hollifield telling us after the game, whatever it takes to win these important SMAC conference games, he's going to do. So we may see Shelby stall again tonight, or they may be running up and down the floor. But whatever it takes, uh, these are important games for Shelby down the stretch in the SMAC conference. We'll be back with more pregame from Kings Mountain after a three-minute timeout on 1590, 1390 AM and ktcbroadcasting.com. Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, Ram, Nissan. Those are the powerhouse of vehicles you'll find at Marburger and Shelby. Plus quality pre-owned cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs. And of course, a service department that is second to no one. So when you're in need of a new vehicle, see Marburger at 1310 East Dixon Boulevard in Shelby. Get your free loader when you buy Coyote's CK Series or DK Series tractor from West End Sales in Vail. But that's not all. There's some great offers going on now at West End Sales in Vail, like 0% financing for 54 months on all Bobcat and Grasshopper mowers. Get 7% financing for 60 months on all Vermeer, Round Balers, and Disc mowers. And how about $120 per month for a Bobcat Fastcat mower and a brand new 5x10 trailer, both for only $120 per month. See West End Sales for all the details. West End Sales, Highway 18, 27 Intersection in Vail. We all hear about how good the barbecue is in Lexington, Greensboro, and in eastern North Carolina. But here in Cleveland County, we all know that the best barbecue is here. At Austin Bridges Barbecue, Kent and Linda Bridges and their family make sure the staple of their restaurant is the best barbecue. Your choice, pork, beef, or chicken, plus delicious sides, such as slaw, beans, fries, and husk puppies. The best since Alston and Mabel opened in 1955. Alston Bridges Barbecue, 620 Grover Street, right here in Shelby. The Transportation Administration of Cleveland County and Cleveland County Transit would like to take this time to remind everyone that drugs like marijuana, alcohol, prescription drugs, and inhalants are the drugs of choice among our teens. They break hearts, break homes, and destroy childhood dreams. It's not just someone else's child, it could be yours. If you're not talking to your children about drugs, doesn't it make you wonder who is? TAC and Cleveland County Transit would like to wish all of our Cleveland County School Athletic Teams good luck this year. Do you know what Putnam Distributor sells? Auto parts, truck parts, Stuff for all sorts of equipment, plus 25 brands of motor oil, hydraulic fluids, filters, batteries, even nuts and bolts, and all at low, low prices. Putnam Distributors is located in downtown Patterson Springs, just five minutes from Kmart and the Cleveland Mall. Go south on Highway 226 or Highway 180 and just follow the signs. Putnam's prices are low on everything and for everybody. Call 704-487-9395 or visit them online at PutnamDistributors.com. At Kings Mountain, the Mountaineers host the Shelby Golden Lions. The big old country pregame show continues. And the girls game over just a few moments ago, Shelby came behind in the first half and came on to win the game 50 to 38 over the Lady Mountaineers. That's in the uh, girls contest over just a few moments ago, Andy. Yeah, a hard fall ball game. Uh, Shelby able to pull away in the fourth quarter. It was uh, much closer than that most of the game, Dan. It was much closer than that. Shelby, uh, uh, late in the third quarter, sure took the advantage and went on and held it during the fourth quarter and came up with a 12-point win. 
Let's go ahead and take a, Andy, a second look at our starting lineups for tonight's game. Our starting lineups are brought to you by Boston Pharmacy. Boston Pharmacy located on Highway 18 North in Boston. Boston Pharmacy, our sponsor of our starting lineups. Here's Andy with the starting lineups for the Shelby Golden Lions. Here's the starting five for the Golden Lions tonight. Quay Kimball, Darkaz Lee, Patrick Little, R.J. George, and Dax Hollifield. Hollifield, George, Little, Lee, and Kimball for Coach Aubrey Hollifield, Shelby Golden Lions. And he did such a good job of that. It's time for you to give the Kings Mountain starting lineup. Starting five tonight for the Mountaineers, Omar Petty, Nelson McLean, their leading scorer, Dante Starr, Jacob Skidmore and Josh Helton. Helton, and, Skidmore, Star, McLean, and Petty for the Mountaineers. If my new glasses get in by next week, I'll be able to help you out there. But uh, that remains to be that, seen in more ways than one. More ways than one. <laughs> that, that's going get, to get you to help out. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey. Have we put up in the standing yet? Kevin, what about this game? These two teams play that they know it's the Battle of Buffalo Creek and uh, uh, but these teams have not played yet this year. Well, I'm excited. This is the first time I get to see the Shelby Golden Lions this year. I haven't seen them yet. And um, I've, I've done a couple of uh, Lincoln County games and done a couple of Shelby, Burns, and Crest. And this will be the first, I mean, uh, Kings Mountain, Burns, and Crest. This will be the first time I get to see the Lions. I haven't seen no Gabe DeVoe, not, no Taekwon Hines, no Mondarius Black. So this is very interesting to me to see what type of change they have. They've been struggling so far. They're 4-4 four and four in the conference. Uh, six and six overall. Uh, Crest eight and one leading the conference right now. Kings Mountain and East Berg look real strong at seven and two. So uh, for the Kings Mountain team, this is a chance to take another step towards maybe a possible conference championship and showdown with Crest and uh, maybe another with East Berg later on. That's right. So uh, Kings Mountain right up near the top in the SMAC conference boys uh, standings, and they want to stay there with a win over Shelby here tonight. Back with the start of tonight's game. In three minutes, you're listening to the Ronaldo Auto Mall Cleveland County High School Basketball Game of the Week on Big O Country, WOHS, and KTCBroadcasting.com. Jamie G's Pizza Factory is Shelby's favorite locally owned family pizza restaurant featuring a pizza buffet and salad bar, a fantastic game room, and birthday parties. Jam and Jay's has gluten-free pizza, vegan cheese pizza, and now try the Lanova wings in barbecue, hot and spicy, or oven roasted. And Jam and Jay's is the original home for the Livermust pizza. Want to eat at home and watch the game? Call for carryout at 704-600-6182. Jam and Jay's Pizza Factory, Highway 74 East, behind the Golden Corral in Shelby. When accidents happen, it's reassuring to know that quick expert care is nearby. Carolina's Healthcare Urgent Care Shelby is now open and is staffed with experienced physicians, mid-level providers, nurses, and support personnel equipped with on-site laboratory and x-ray services. So keep our new location and contact information close by for immediate access to the region's preferred health care and largest physicians network. Carolina's Healthcare Urgent Care. 1010 East Dixon Boulevard, Shelby. Medical Arts Pharmacy is your locally owned independent hometown pharmacy. Unlike the big chain stores, Medical Arts Pharmacy calls you by name and treats you like family and friends, not a number. Medical Arts has more National Board certified technicians and personnel than other pharmacies to keep down your waiting time on prescriptions. Online refills at medicalartsofshelby.com. Medical Arts Pharmacy, 108 Grover Street near the hospital in Shelby. Call 704-487-8068. There's a new train dealer in Shelby and Cleveland County. It's Industrial Maintenance and Automation. Yes, train customers, help is here with Industrial Maintenance and Automation. They can service your old train or any brand unit, plus offer you some great purchase plans for a brand new train. Just call 704-481-1144. 704-481-1144. 
704-481-1144 or visit the website at imacontractors.com. Industrial Maintenance and Automation, your new train dealer. Remember, it's hard to stop a train. Keep warm this winter and save money too with the new Echo SunTech infrared heater from Cleveland Lumber Company in Shelby. It's a three-in-one product, an infrared heater, a humidifier, and an air purifier with a five-year factory warranty on the PTC heat element. The Echo SunTech infrared heater allows you to heat by zones instead of an entire area. Zone heating allows you to keep unoccupied areas cooler than normal, thereby reducing your heating bill. See one today at Cleveland Lumber Company, 217 Harrowwood Street in Shelby. Back at Parker Gymnasium at Kings Mountain High School, Shelby against Kings Mountain in our Ronaldo Auto Ball Cleveland County High School basketball game of the week tonight here in Kings Mountain. The starting lineup has been introduced to the packed crowd here at Parker Gymnasium in the dark as these teams go at it actually for the first time this year. Their first game was scheduled during the football playoffs, Andy, and uh, they uh, uh, did not get to play it. So they will uh, make that up a little bit later on in this season. Now, our scoreboard tonight brought to you by Medical Arts Pharmacy located on Grover Street near the hospital in Shelby. They've been doing this for 21 years, functioning our scoreboard on our sports broadcast on the radio and on the internet here in Shelby and Cleveland County. Now let's turn it over to Andy Foster for the play by play, Andy. Ready to jump it up at midcourt. Jacob Skidmore will jump it up for the Mountaineers and uh, George for Shelby. Tip controlled by Kings Mountain. Demetrius Hill wearing double zero will bring it across midcourt. Looks like Shelby setting up in a 1 2 2 zone. Hill with it left side. Gets it off to Skidmore. Back to Hill. Left handed. Three-pointer, good. Left side. Three nothing, Kings Mountain. Little front court off to Kimball. Right wing to Little. Little baseline to Lee. Back out front to Little. Three-pointer off the rim, no good. Rebound Mountaineers. Kings Mountain coming front court. McLean out front with it. Left side to Hill. Baseline to Skidmore. Right side, it goes to the wide open. McLean for the three, and it's six nothing, Mountaineers. That's not the start Shelby wanted. And a steal by Hill against the Golden Lions. Hill brings it front court down on the baseline, and he's pushed and fouled. Looks like that fouls on Quay Kimball. Well, the three point marksmen for Kings Mountain, Kevin, are hot here early. I know the, the threes are raining here in Kings. It's raining outside. And it's raining inside, too, right now. Dalton Cash gets it in to McLean. He's out near midcourt on the dribble. On the baseline to Skidmore, out front to Cash. Three pointer won't go. Rebound Skidmore. Skidmore backs up, puts up the jumper, no good. Rebound, Golden Lions. Kimball quickly front court down the left sideline. Puts up the jumper, it's blocked. Cash with it for Kings Mountain. Cross court to McLean, three-pointer, no good. Long rebound, recovered out front by Cash. Left side to Starr, then back to Cash. Cash, left baseline to Star jumper in and out, followed shot, no good, rebound mount up to the Golden Lions. R.J. George, front court, gets it off to Patrick Little, 5.50, first quarter, 6-0 Kings Mountain, Medical Arts Pharmacy scoreboard. Little, right wing to George, out front to Little, left side to Kimball, back of the circle to 
Patrick Little comes into the lane, dishes it underneath to the wide open. Darquez Lee for the layup, Shelby on the board at 6-2. McLean down the baseline, lays it up and in. 8-2 Mountaineer. Kimball front court for Shelby. Right side to Little, back to Kimball, three-pointer, back of the circle, no good, rebound loose, picked up by Hill. Gets it near midcourt and knocked away and out of bounds by Hollifield. Kings round the basketball at midcourt. Cash bounces it in to Demetrius Hill. Hill across the timeline. 4.59 left first quarter. Left side to Cash. Cash dribbles into the lane. Goes underneath to Starr. Back out front to Hill, Hill cut off in the lane to McLean, back of the circle. He backs up on the dribble near midcourt. 4.44 left, first quarter off the star, back to McLean. McLean comes into the lane and is walking with it. Shelby basketball in the backcourt, 4.37 left, first quarter. First, first turnover of the game for Kings Mountain. Patrick Little brings it front court. Right side to Kimball. Kimball to Little. Left side to George. Out front to Kimball. The three-pointer no good. Hollifield with the rebound. Lays it in. And it's 8-4. Mountaineer lead four with 4.15 left in the first quarter. Hill against some pressure. Gets it front court. Comes into the lane. Dishes it underneath. And an easy layup for Dante Starr. 10-4. Mountaineers by six, Shelby front court. George, three-pointer, right side, good. 10-7, Shelby's first three-point basket, the lead three for the Mountaineers. 3.48 first quarter, Hill working against pressure, loses it, recovers it, goes right side to McLean. His runner, no good, Shelby with a rebound. Here comes Little on the break, layup, good. And he's fouled. 10 to 9, Mountaineer lead one. Good job, Kings Mountain, pushing it up the floor, getting to the basket, getting the and one. Shelby needs a lot of that tonight to win this ball game, I think. Patrick, but really uh, aggressive play. Patrick Little, leading score for Shelby, puts up the free throw good. And Shelby has come back to tie it up at 10 all with 3.30 to play first quarter on the Medical Arts Pharmacy scoreboard. Skidmore gets a press, gets it underneath, stolen away by Shelby. Lions front court, Kimball three-pointer, good. And Shelby takes their first lead of the ball game, 13-10. McLean against pressure as it's stolen away. Oh, and a kickball. It wasn't a foul, Andy, it was a kickball. Kickball near midcourt. And it's Kings Mountain basketball at middle court. Yeah, when they when he blew the whistle, I thought it was a clean steal, and then we all looked around, and ref, he, he had the kickball on the defense. Shelby's in a press right now. It don't look like they're trying to pressure them. It's more of a waste-time press. McLean has it knocked away and out of bounds in midcourt, and Mountaineers having problems with the Shelby pressure. But they will take the steal if they can get it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. Inbounded to Hill in the backcourt. Gets it front court to McLean. Comes into the lane. This is it underneath to Starr. Lays it up and in. And it's 13 12. Shelby lead at 1. 2.45 left first quarter. Patrick Little slowly front court for the Golden Lions. And Shelby going to spread the floor. In the lane comes Little. Lays it up. No good. Skidmore. Rebounds for the Mountaineers off to Hill. He'll bring it front court. Hill across the timeline. Tried to get it in the corner. Knocked away and out of bounds by the Lions. Kings Mountain basketball in front of the Shelby bench at side court. Again, we'll be back here next Friday night. Press comes in as they call this Kings Mountain team and be another big smack conference battle here. 
Inbounded to McLean, standing near midcourt with the dribble. 2.15 left, first quarter. Underneath, the ball knocked away from Skidmore, but recovered. He drives underneath, missed the layup, puts it back up. Good! And he's fouled! 14-13 Mountaineers at opportunity for a three-point play for Jacob Skidmore. That's what you teach you as coaches. Stay with it. Go up. We got, he uh, got blocked. I mean, got I mean, really badly blocked. Didn't, Skidmore didn't care. Went back up strong. Got the foul in the end. Well, now a chance for three. Skidmore at the line. Up and in. 15-13 Mountaineers. Monocolized Pharmacy scoreboard. 2.05 left in the first quarter. Kimball front court for the Golden Lions. Out on the left wing. Goes underneath to George. George shot blocked and a foul on Skidmore. Two shots for R.J. George. 15 to 13. Home team, Kings Mountain Mountaineers lead. Shelby George with a chance. Mr. Quarterback, two state championship rings on his finger. Can you shoot free throws of rings on your finger, Dan? Yeah. Does he wear it? Is he, does he have it on right now? No, no. I wouldn't think so. He misses the first one, though. One more coming for George. It's off the back of the rim. No good. Cash takes the long rebound for Kings Mountain, hands it off to McLean. He brings it front court. McLean underneath the Skidmore for the slam. And I believe they call technical. it technical on Skidmore. Hanging on the rim. 17-13, but Kimball will shoot the technicals for Shelby. I thought there might have been somebody a little bit underneath Skidmore after that slam, Kevin. Yeah, I couldn't tell. I was actually watching the play from the from the fans' view online, watching it on KTC Broadcasting, and there was some people down there, but Skidmore did pull up. He, he did it a little bit, so it's kind of a judgment call. You could call it, you could let it go, but the ref's making the early decision. There's going to be none of that tonight, so uh, I think he's going to have to take a seat just for, just for a few minutes, cool off, get off the floor. Campbell hits both of the technicals for Shelby. 17-15 Kings Mountain. 144 left first quarter on the Medical Arts Pharmacy scoreboard. Campbell behind the circle on the dribble. Gets it off to Little. In the corner to George. No, 34. 34, that is uh, not George, and but borders. borders. And it's 18-17 Shelby. 120 to play in the first quarter. That three-pointer almost hit the ceiling. It had so much arc on it. So does this one. Long three-pointer from McLean. And Kings Mountain back in front, 20-18. to 18. Well, a ball game so far here in Kings Mountain, folks. Kimball front court in the corner to Little. Ball stolen away underneath from the Mountaineers. Here's... Hill front court. He puts up a three-pointer left side. No good. Rebound mount to the Golden Lions. Shelby on the break. Little fouled underneath. It's on McLean. Patrick Little will go to the line with two shots. Josh Helton in the lineup for the Mountaineers came in for Skidmore. Two shots for Little. First one's up and no good. One more for Patrick Little. Zach Thunderbird comes in for the Mountaineers. One more for Little. It is good. 20 to 19, Mountaineers by one. 45 seconds left in the first quarter and uh, Shelby with another steal. Long pass underneath and Little lays it in. 21-20 Shelby nip and tuck ball game. High scoring affair here in the first quarter. Kings Mountain throws it backcourt. 
And it's Shelby basketball at midcourt with 24 seconds left first quarter. What well, started as a very clean game for Kings Mountain guys has turned into five turnovers here in the first quarter. Inbounded to Kimball. Shelby with the floor spread. Kimball in the lane. This is it underneath the Lee. His shot blocked Kings Mountain with the basketball. And a reach in foul in the backcourt is on Patrick Little. 13 seconds left to play, 21-20, Golden Lions. Into Hill with 11 seconds. Hill still in the backcourt, brings it across the timeline. Ball loose, and Kimball with a steal. Kimball lays it up, no good, but he's fouled with eight-tenths of a second to play in the first quarter. He can increase the Shelby lead as we end this quarter. Shelby up the one. The Kings Mountains sixth turnover of the quarter. Way Kimball puts it up and in. I would say uh, Dan Kimball's the best free throw shooter for Shelby. Yeah, three for three tonight. 22-20 Shelby. One more for Kimball. It is no good. Rebound, star. That's the end of the first quarter after one on the Medical Arts Pharmacy School Board. Shelby, 22, Kings Mountain, 20. Back in a minute. Hi, this is Woody Durham for Doctors Doug Stroud, Jim Wilson, and Craig Thompson at Family Dental Care in Shelby. No matter the age, kids, teenagers, and adults, Dr. Stroud, Wilson, and Thompson will take care of your dental needs. They have over 50 years' experience serving the people of Cleveland County. Call 704-482-3281 for family dental care at 416 West Warren Street in Shelby. That's Doctors Doug Stroud, Jim Wilson, and Craig Thompson. Kids love them, and you will too. Get the big dog, the big dog mower from West End Sales in Vail. Right now, get 0% financing for 48 months. Yes, spring is just around the corner, and the big dog will be ready. With 31 horsepower, a big 60-inch cut, and now only $181 per month from West End Sales in Vail. And don't forget about a free loader with a CK or DK Series Coyote Tractor. From West End Sales, 110 North Highway 18 in Vail, or online at westendsales.com. The scoreboard Shelby basketball to begin the second period. Out front on the dribble is Kimball. Kimball dishes it off to Little, comes down the lane, and he's walking with it. Shelby turnover. Kings Mountain basketball in the backcourt. In to Adams, who's in the ball game, off to Cash. Cash gets it underneath to Star back out front. It goes to Hill. Shelby wanted to carry there. The referee said the ball was tipped up in the air. That's why it looked so funny there if you watch it online tonight, ktcbroadcasting.com. Hill out on the right wing with the ball. Goes to Cash midcourt area. Cash comes down the lane, tries to dish it underneath. Stolen away. Shelby on the break. Little layup. No good. Kings Mountain rebounds. Cash breaks the front court. This is an underneath the hill. Miss the layup. Shelby with the rebound. Golden Lions coming front court. Kimball gets it in the corner and slipping and falling down with it. And out of bounds is Patrick Little. That, that was a weird guy's His feet just flew out from under. And they got they got to wipe down that. I would imagine that just it just, just didn't look right. Little comes out, and in for Shelby is DeMario Houston. All-state football player for the Golden Lions. That's how Houston looking for his 15th interception on the year, I think. Well, that's it. And he's back to get it. Ball loose at midcourt. Still fighting for it. Hollifield gets it off to Kimball. Hollifield recovered that fumble. Kimmel working out front with 6.35 left first half. Kings Mountain eight turnovers in 10 minutes, or no, 12 minutes now. Left side, Kimmel loses it. Ball on the floor, and we got a reach-in foul called on Kings Mountain. Shelby lucky right there. Usually you don't get that bet, when, especially when the guard dribbles. 
25 times and you know gets caught up in, in a in a change up like that you usually don't get that call but she'll be lucky there not to get the jump ball rj george will make the inbounds pass on the right baseline gets it into hollowfield out front to kimball in the corner to a little open for three won't go long rebound recovered by the mountaineers elton with it hands it off to hill hill gets it front court and driving in for the layup is Adams at a foul call on Shelby. Well, you got the two biggest legal steps you could possibly take, probably. Very, very, very close to traveling there on the play. Demetrius Hill. Correction, Sean Adams on the line. Adams listed as a 5'11 senior. Got a discussion between a couple of the officials and Patrick Little. And now they're getting they're motioning everybody off the line. What are they what are they calling here? They must have called an intentional foul. And Adams will shoot too with nobody on the line. Free throw no good. One more coming. I don't I don't know what happened. For Adams. I didn't see a technical no, call. No, I haven't seen any call. Free throw up and in, and it's 22 20. Shelby. Now Shelby will go to the line. Was it a double foul? This is technical free throws right here. They just announced. So somebody got a technical. Kimball puts up the free throw. The technical good, 23-21. Shelby, one more for Kimball, up and in. 24-21, Golden Lions by three on the Medical Arts Pharmacy scoreboard. 624 left first hand. Almost when he asked that referee right there what the call was. Shelby with the basketball, up three. Golden Lions with the floor spread. Kimball at midcourt goes left side to Lee. Now to Little. Little out on the left wing. Off to George. Underneath the hollow field. Layup no good, but he's found. Through a hollow field, just a freshman. Very very aggressive freshman too. I, I do want to comment. I, I didn't. I didn't know he was a freshman. He, he's and very aggressive, setting picks, boxing out, taking to the hole. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's that coach's son. Yeah, his papa is the coach, of course. His uncle is the assistant coach. Well, if you're going to be a freshman and a coach's son and be on the basketball court, you better be hustling. That's rule number one, you know. Free throw good for Hollowfield. One more coming. Up and in. And Shelby with their biggest lead of the night, 26-21 over the Mountaineers. Shelby with full court pressure. Cash gets a front court to Star. Star cut off on the baseline out front to Hill. Hill backs up on the dribble with 5.40 to play first half. Left side to Cash. Cash down on the baseline, puts up the runner, no good, tipped up, no good. And Shelby with the rebound. Lions quickly coming front court. Lee gets it left side to Little, drives the baseline, misses the layup, and the ball is out of bounds off of the Golden Lions. Kings Mountain with 5.20 to play, first half of the inbounds play. Shelby again, pressure in the backcourt. Hill, long front court pass to Helton. Helton. Gets it to Adams, to Hill, left side to Cash. Open for three, good! 26, 24, Shelby lead two. Lions front court, Kimball off to Little. 4.55 to play first half. Little down the lane, floats it up, no good. Rebound, Cash. Cash to Adams, and Adams couldn't handle the pass. Turnover, Mountaineers. Turnovers on the night for the Mountaineers. 26 24, Shelby's lead at two on the Medical Arts Foundry scoreboard. 440 
left in the first half. Underneath to a driving Jack Solfield. Shot no good, but he's found. And Dax goes to the line with two shots. He's two and two at the line tonight. Has four points in the night for Shelby. Free throw, no good. One more coming. Coming in for the Golden Lions is Jaden Borders. Another member of the Lions championship football team. One more for Hollowfield. Up and in. 27-24 Shelby. Shelby continue with, continues to press backcourt. Hill gets it across the timeline. Tried to dish it right side. Ball loose. Saved by the Mountaineers. Adams on the baseline underneath the Helton. He's double teamed, and we got a foul underneath on it's Shelby. It's going to be on Hollyfield. Two fouls on Dax Hollyfield. Kings Mountain inbounds play on the right baseline. And to Hill in the corner, left side. Out front to Adams. Off to Hill. 4-12 left first half. Hill left side to Cash. Cash off to Adams. Left side to Cash. Comes out on the baseline. Cut off to Star. Off to Adams. Left side to Cash. Puts up a three. In and out. No good. Rebound. Houghton off to Adams. His shot blocked, but he's fouled. Kings Mountain working hard on the backboards there. Two shots coming for Sean Adams. Adams one for two at the line tonight. Free throw no good, one more coming. Adams. Puts it up and in. 27, 25, Shelby's lead two with 3.49 to play in the first half. Lions front court. George with it. To Kimball, long three, good. 30, 25, Shelby back up by five. Three and a half to play first half. Long pass front court for the Mountaineers and a foul on Shelby. Adams got knocked to the floor. And Sean Adams goes to the line with a one and one. Coach Hollyfield not excited about that call. I mean, Little pretty much threw it out of bounds because it was a tackle on the other side, but he's He's still another referee. You know, you don't, how's he make that call on the other side of the court? Rebound. Free throw no good. Helton's rebound block. Recovered by Adams. He puts it up no good. Tipped up by Helton no good. Shelby with the rebound. Lions on the break. Little layup is no good. Helton has the rebound taken away. Shot put up no good by Little, but he's fouled. All kinds of action in this SMAC conference matchup tonight. 3-10 to play. First half, two shots for Patrick Little. Patrick on the night at the line, one for two. Free throw is no good. It spins out. One more coming for Little. McLean, who has been out of the lineup, comes back in for the Mountaineers. One more for Little, up and in. 31-26, Shelby by six, 310 left. First half of the Medical Arts Pharmacy scoreboard. McLean against pressure, gets it to Cash. Underneath the star, lays it up in. Good play, that's take textbook basketball. 31-27, Little long three-pointer left side, and he's fouled on the three-point shot. 
by Dalton Cash. Three shots for Patrick Little. A no-no there, Dan. You never foul the three-point shooter. No, you shouldn't. Patrick in at the free throw line tonight is two for two. Free throw is no good. Excuse me. He was two for four before that. Now two for five. One more coming for Little. Up and in. One more. 32-27 Shelby. Little puts it up and in. 33-27 Golden Lions. McLean beats the press, comes underneath, lays it up, no good, and he's charging. That's a good call by the referee. He has he said way before McLean got there. McLean, he had a pull-up jumper, didn't take it. Two forty-seven left. Shelby by six with the basketball second quarter. That's Kings Mountain's tenth turnover, guys. On my account, I might be off by one, but we'll. That's as good as close as I can get right now. Campbell front court for Shelby. Gets it off to Little. To Borders. Back to Campbell. Three-pointer. Won't go. Helton rebounds for the Mountaineers. Long pass front court to Adams. Layup. Won't go. Borders rebounds for Shelby. Jaden brings it front court. Comes down the lane. Kimball and his shot blocked. Rebound Mountaineers. Hill front court. Down the lane. Loses the basketball. Reach in foul on Shelby with 2.04 to play second quarter. 33 27. 204 left first half on the Medical Arts Chauncey School Board. Demetrius Hill at the line, free throw up, left-handed, no good. Rebound, Golden Lions. Little comes front court. Little into the lane, dishes it underneath to Lee, and a foul on Kings Mountain. R.J. George about, about lost his two front teeth on that one, guys. 22 uh, there, got fouled, Lee. He's trying to get rid of the ball while he's getting fouled. R.J. wasn't looking. He about ate that ball. That was one time R.J. wished he had his helmet back I know on. It. Yes, he did. Whew. Dark has Lee at the line. Free throw up and no good. Shelby has hurt themselves some at the line, Dan. Yeah, they have missed a lot. We'll count them. I'll have them. We'll count them at halftime. Unless one. Dan's got it right now off top of his head. One to. He's one for two now. Uh, Darquez is. They've got to be close to 50, 60 percent, you know, yes. down that on that end of the spectrum. So Shelby could have an even bigger lead than they have. Next free throw won't go, and the rebound to Helton gets it off to Cash, and George reaches in and called for the foul. 150 to play first half. And that's not the type of foul you like, especially Coach Hawfield. He's asking, "What are you doing?" He fouled him 90 feet away from the basket. It's not really that easy to hit a shot from there. But instead, now uh, Chase gets two shots there at the uh, free throw line. Dalton Cash on the line. Dalton Cash, that's a chase. Puts it up and in. 33-28, Shelby. At the other end there, Kevin, Shelby, I have an unofficial with 8 of 22 from the line. Next free throw, no good. And the rebound to Little, who comes down and lays it up. And it's no good. And the rebound to Kings Mountain. <laughs> and a walk at midcourt called on Halton. As a guard, they, they, they usually you have a rule, Andy. Don't throw it to a moving big man. Pulls it. <laughs> and he's laughing about it. You know, he got caught no, no man's landing. The, the big men aren't used to handling the ball while moving like that, so a lot of the, you don't want to do it. You, just, you big men usually stay still, like right in the middle of the, of the court. Shelby front court. Campbell puts a three up, back of the circle. Good. And all 
all of a sudden, Shelby up by eight, 36, 28. Kimball now with 14 for Shelby. And the reach and foul in the backboard on Borders. And going to the free throw line is Demetrius Hill. Coach Hodgeville telling him to quit fouling. Pressure on the don't foul, make him move it. He's about to start this game off like gangbugs, gangbusters, hitting the threes, taking the lead like they are the better team. But since then, Shelby has, they've commanded the pace this the whole first half that they've played at the pace they want to. Everything has been what Shelby wants to. And the Kings Mountain's got to get back to playing first place basketball. Next free throw, oh good. One more coming for Hill. It's in. 36 29, Shelby, 110 left. First half, Medical Arts Pharmacy scoreboard. Kimball out front with it, has it knocked away, and a reach in foul on the Mountaineers. And Kimball, who has been red hot at the free throw line, goes back. Coach Pierce not happy with the call. He hasn't stopped staring at that referee yet. Now he's going to say something to him over there. I thought it might have been clean too, but you know, he, he coaches closer than we are. Kimball's free throw, good. He's been busy tonight. 15 points for Kimball. He's six of seven at the line. One more coming for Kimball. No good, a rebound, Shelby, follow shot, no good. Cash rebounds for the Mountaineers. Cash gets in front court. <laughs> and driving underneath and walking with the basketball is Tico Crocker with the Mountaineers. <laughs> now those steps earlier were big, now guys. <laughs> he even went further, he took it to, to another level with that one. <laughs> Kimball front court for Shelby, 45 seconds left. First half, Kimball gets it off to Little, miss the layup, rebound, Helton. He dishes it off to Hill with 32 seconds. Hill gets it underneath to Crocker, layup good. And he's fouled. 37-31, Shelby, a free throw for Tico Crocker. As Tico's first basket and first points of the night, this is his first trip to line. Free throw won't go, rebound to Shelby. Shelby quickly front court, layup by Kimball, no good. Little is tied up underneath. Alternating possession, jump ball, and it's Kings Mountain basketball. 19.7 left in the first half. Cash gets it into Helton. Helton hands it off to Hill. 17 seconds, Shelby pressure in the backcourt. Hill throws it away, Shelby with a steal. Underneath the Kimball, moves back out with it. Now the baseline, a floater, no good. Rebound Cash with two seconds. He throws it up at the buzzer, no good. And at halftime on the Medical Arts Pharmacy scoreboard, Shelby leads Kings Mountain 37-31. Back with halftime in three minutes on WOHS and KTCbroadcasting.com. For over 100 years, the Stamey Tysinger Funeral Home in Falston has been providing services to families of our community with care and compassion. And now the Stamey Funeral Home has added the Cremation Center along with a new name, the Stamey Tysinger Funeral Home and Cremation Center. The Stamey Tysinger Funeral Home and Cremation Center on Highway 182 in Falston and the Stamey Funeral Home in Cherryville, located on Dixie Street in Cherryville, serving you with care and compassion in your time of need. Get the cutting edge and the commercial grade with the new Kubota Z700 Series Commercial Z-Turn Mower from Parker Farm Service. It beats everything in its class for durability, precision, and value with its low center of gravity, adding stability and speed. 
plus quick access maintenance points too. Schedule an on-site demonstration today. Call Parker Farm Service, 704-482-7061 or visit the showroom at 126 Bessie Drive at the Oak Grove Road, Highway 74 Bypass in Kings Mountain or go to Kubota.com. It's tomato time, so come on in to Shelby Hardware where they have wood sticks, ties, and cages for your tomato plants. Shelby Hardware also has fertilizer, plant food, water hoses and sprinklers, and watering cans. They also have a good selection of garden gloves and hats. Shelby Hardware has been serving the hardware needs of Cleveland County since 1979. Shelby Hardware, 506 South Lafayette Street in Shelby. Since 1919, yes, 1919, Griffin Drugstore in downtown Kings Mountain has been serving the people of the Kings Mountain area with the finest in prescription servants. And be sure to come in and ask about the 10% senior citizen discount. And most prescription cards are honored at Griffin Drug Center, 129 West Mountain Street in downtown Kings Mountain. Since 1919, open 9 to 6 Monday through Friday, 9 to 12 on Saturday, that's Griffin Drug Center in Kings Mountain. Yes, Cleveland County, you do have a Yamaha and Kawasaki Sales and Service Center, and it's only a short drive away. It's Al Lane Motorsports in Lincoln. From sales to parts to service. And remember, Al Lane Motorsports in Lincoln services all makes and models. So, yes, Cleveland County, you do have a Yamaha and Kawasaki sales and service center. That's Al Lane Motorsports, 3636 East Highway 27 in Lincoln. Give them a call at 704-732-8200. Since 1983, Bill Shuford Heating and Air Conditioning has been providing dependable service and quality products to the Cleveland County area. And the tradition continues today with quality American Standard Heating and Air Conditioning Systems. Give them a call at 704-484-0025. For Bill Shuford Heating and Cooling, 213 Campbell Street in Shelby, your American Standard Heating and Air Conditioning dealer. It's where your comfort is our concern. Bill Shuford Heating and Air. Al Lane Motorsports in Lincoln and now has go-karts just in time for Christmas. Hurry in now and see the lineup for go-karts for kids of all ages. Like the Mudhead 208 as low as $16.99. The Torpedo 50 is only $11.99. The GTS 150 Platinum is $27.99. And the GTS 150 is $25.99. Plus save two during the pre-owned inventory clearance sale. At Al Lane Motorsports, Highway 27, 73 intersection, just east of Lincoln. A correction four of uh, eight at the line. He has eight points here at halftime. Three points for R.J. George on a three-point basket. Also for Shelby here at halftime, a three-point basket uh, uh, by Borders, and he has three points uh, for the Golden Lions. For the Mountaineers here at halftime, their leading scorer at this time, but actually very balanced scoring are the Mountaineers in this game. Uh, five points for uh, Jacob Skidmill, Skidmore, six points for uh, Darius Starr, uh, six points for uh, Nelson McLean, also scoring uh, for the Mountaineers in this first half, three points uh, for Dil uh, Dalton Cash on a three-point basket, two points on a basket for Tico Crocker, and two points for Sean Adams on a, on a basket. Also, uh, four points for Demetrius Hill. Uh, Hill tonight with one three-point basket and one of three at the free throw line. He has four points here at halftime. And the halftime score again on the Medical Arts Pharmacy scoreboard. The Mountaineers trailing the Golden Lions. Shelby leads it 37-31. Here at halftime. Back with more right, half time. Hold on, I got my. I got oh, yes, stats. Oh, let's get Kevin's stats right quick. Real quick, did you have uh, totals on the free throws? I'll get those for okay, you. Okay, get those real quick. Uh, total shooting right now for uh, for both teams 
Uh, Shelby leads by six guys. They've only made three two-point baskets in this game. Leading by six, 37 points. They've only made three two-point baskets. They've made five threes. Uh, and Dan will give you the free throws here in a minute. But they're only shooting 32% and lead by uh, six. The, the big story looking at the stats, Shelby with four turnovers. How does Shelby lead in shooting that bad? They're getting out-rebounded 19-11, to 11, so that ain't it. But the turnovers, guys, Kings Mountain has turned the ball over 13 times to Shelby's four. So that right there, if uh, Kings Mountain, you go in the uh, – Go in the locker room, Coach Pierce and the gang, if they talk about just take care of the basketball, they should get right back in this game quickly, if not take over. Shelby, on the other hand, their free throw shooting has killed them tonight. They're shooting overall. I said they were 8 for 25 from the field, and uh, Dan had, uh, I think, even closer or right about that for uh, for the free throw shooting tonight, too. So Shelby struggling mightily from the field, but their defense uh, is keeping them in the ball game with 13 turnovers uh, slash steals, however you want to look at that. Kings Mountain shooting 44%. They're 4 of 11 for 3, 8 of 16 from the field. They lead 19 rebounds to 11. Everything on the stat book says Kings Mountain should be leading this game except the turnovers, guys, and that's what's happened so far uh, in the game on that end. A couple of uh, little quick stats, a uh, little notes. Uh, number 23, Shelby. Patrick Little has three assists and four rebounds to go with his points. Uh, number 24, R.J. George has two rebounds, two steals, and two assists to go with all of his. And uh, those are the notes for Shelby. As for Kings Mountain, they're filling up the stat book. Uh, double zero, Demetrius Hill, five assists and two rebounds. Uh, number 20, Don Cash, he's got four boards. Uh, down to 42, Skidmore started off hot, got into foul trouble, got a technical on the dunk. He's got two rebounds, one block, one assist. And the big rebounder on the night, 44 off the bench, guys, has nine rebounds in the first half there for Kings Mountain. That's Josh Hilton. He also had a couple of big blocks there. So, so the story from my stat line is the turnover battle and the free throw battle is going to uh, determine this ball game. Dan, uh, well, I think I'm those. In, in the middle of that first half, I might give you a little incorrect uh, free throw shooting. Still, it's not great. Uh, Golden Lions are 14 of 23 at the All free right. throw line in the first half. While Kings Mountain, two of ten in the Ooh, first half. So both teams, Kings Mountain, that's their, their weaknesses are at right now. Like just that free throw line and turnovers, Kings Mountain's going to get that fixed. Shelby, sixty percent, sixty-seven percent free throw shoot. You know, it's not great for an individual, but as a team, it's not that bad. It'd be, that'll beat Carolina any day at the free throw line. Uh, they got a six-point lead here, guys. So that's it for our stat book. Okay, and uh, Andy, as you look at this game and the first half. Uh, What's the key point in this game that says something about the differential in the score? Well, like Kevin mentioned, turnovers have really been a, a big story. Kings Mountain turned the ball over way too many times. And Shelby, on the other end, they missed a lot of layups in this ball game, and they could have a, a double-digit lead if they'd been able to convert underneath. Yeah, they're 3 of 15 from two-point range. I mean, that's just that's, that's awful in all, all regards. And they're up six. So, at, it's a halftime. We're going to take a quick break. Let's keep it right here. I'm going to keep it right here. Uh, yeah. I want to say one thing. We will be back here next Friday night. Right. Uh, the Mountaineers will play host to the uh, top team in the boys' division, the Crest Chargers here next Friday night. We'll be on the air around 7.30. We'll be off shortly to follow. For, for Crest and Kings Mountain here next Friday night. Well, Dan, if Kings Mountain, well, Kings Mountain's already behind Crest. I was going to say, if Kings Mountain loses tonight, then Crest will be all by themselves, but they will be. Anyway, they are anyway. Like I said, the, the, the leading Crest Chargers, we will have them uh, next Friday night. That will be on video as well. They might as well leave a table here all week, can't they, Dan? Yes. They have to leave it here. We can keep your equipment here. I don't think so. <laughs> We're about to tip off here. It's 37-31. The Shelby Golden Lions in an upset bid right now are leading the Kings Mountain Mountaineers, and uh, we're getting ready for the second half start. Shelby will have the ball uh, with R.J. George on the court along with, I said these are the regular starters, number 12, and Hollyfield, and well, it looks like they got six out there right now. They do. No, I guess the kid on the baseline is not on the court. All right, I thought they had six. No, <laughs> they got five. All right, Andy Foster with a second half call. Underway as Kemmel has it out front. And looks like Shelby is going to spread the floor as they did 
last week against RS Central for about half the ball game. Little gets it off to Kemble way out of the right wing. Kemble still working on the dribble back of the circle. Comes into the lane and he's walking with it. Kings Mountain gets it on the turnover. Cash gets it in to McLean. Front court to Skidmore underneath the star. Knocked out front, picked up by Hill. Off to McLean. McLean had it stolen away. Little miss the layup. Rebound Shelby, shot blocked. McKimble takes it back out front now. In the corner to Little, back to Kimball. Kimball, three-pointer back of the circle, spins out. Cash rebounds for the Mountaineers. Off the hill, 645 left in the third quarter. Right side to McLean. Three-pointer. In and out, no good. Hollifield rebounds for Shelby. To Kimball, he brings it front court. Kimball off to Little, back to Kimball. Kimball hands it to Little near midcourt. Little comes down the lane, lays it up, block. Jump ball, alternating possession, Mountaineers. Good block by Skidmore. Great block by Skidmore to get the jump ball. That's actually the third block of the game. Kings Mountain coming front court down six. Nobody's yet to score in the second half. McLean into the lane, lays it up. No good, but he's fouled. It's on Hollifield. That's his third, I believe. That is three on Dax. Two shots for Nelson McLean. Free throw up and in. 37-32. Hollifield goes to the bench. And in for Shelby is Justin Boyd. One more for McLean. It's good. Got a whistle. Lane violation. And that takes a point off the board. Shelby coming front court. Six minutes to play. Third quarter on the medical arts pharmacy scoreboard. 37-32 Lions. Shelby again with the floor spread. Little right side to Kimball. Kimball working out on the right wing. Kimball flips it off to Little. Little and Kimball primary ball handlers for Shelby. Kimball with it right wing. Comes out on the baseline. Into the lane, lays it up. It's off the side of the backboard. Kings Mountain with the rebound. Hill coming front court. And he's fouled underneath. Reach and foul on Boyd. And they have not taken the point off the board yet from the lane violation from the free throw. Shot out of the corner. Good for Hill. 37-35, Shelby's lead two. Shelby's lost some momentum here in the third quarter. Little to George, back to Little. Little comes down the lane, dishes it underneath. Ball out of bounds off the Mountaineers. Shelby on the inbounds play under their own basket on the right baseline. George. Gets it into Kemble, left wing. Kemble gets it in the corner to Little, lays it up, no good. And the rebound to Skidmore. Off to McLean. McLean comes into the lane, reach in foul on Shelby. It's on Kemble. Kings Mountain basketball out of bounds, left baseline. Cash. And the Hill comes into the lane. This is it underneath the star. Star back to Hill, puts up a three. 
In and out, a little good. Tipped up and in by Skidmore. And we are tied at 37 all. Medical Arts Pharmacy scoreboard. 428 left in the third quarter. Kimball, back of the circle, gets it off to Little. Kings Mountain in a 2-2-1 zone. And holding the ball out front, Patrick Little. Shelby in the spread. Right wing to Kimball. Off to Little, left side to George. Midcourt to Little comes down the lane, cut off to George. Cross court to Kimball, Kimball into the lane, and he's walking. And ever since Shelby's went into this spread, Dan, they have lost a lot of momentum in this ball game. Well, they have in this third quarter. They really have not had any momentum in this third quarter. They had plenty of momentum in the first half, but nothing here in the third quarter. They have not yet scored. Kings Mountain with the basketball down in a tie ball game at 37 all. Skidmore top of the circle. Flips it to McLean. McLean reach in foul on him. Top of the circle. They're gonna call it on the floor. Three thirty left third quarter. Kings Mountain ball at side court. Chance for the Mountaineers to take the lead. In the hill. It's been a while since they've had the lead. They started off with eight nothing. Six nothing. Six nothing. nothing. Out front is McLean near midcourt. Working on the dribble. Backs up on the dribble and a five second call. <laughs> Wow, on McLean. Wow. I'm going to disagree on that one. First of all, it wasn't five seconds. Second of all, usually they, they, they make you have to have almost have a hand on somebody for the whole five seconds. He, you know, he, I thought he worked pretty good. Shelby with the basketball in a tie game, 37 all. Kimball gets it left side. Three-pointer won't go for... Patrick Little rebound, put back up no good by George, but he's fouled and he will go to the line. 254 to play third quarter. RJ George at the line, trying to give Shelby the lead once again. Little is two of 14 from the field tonight. He's missed his last nine shots in a row. Free throw off the front of the rim, no good for George. Helton comes into the ball game, and Kings Mountain really going big now with Helton and Skidmore both in the ball game. Yeah, I don't know if Shelby can handle them. Next free throw, no good on the rebound. It's a lane violation on Kings Mountain, so another free throw for R.J. George. The lane violation we had a little bit earlier on this end, yeah. they never took the point back off the board. Oh. I will repeat that. So the point's on the board? Yes. So they need to recount? Free throw up and in. 38-37 <laughs> Shelby. So we're going to call it what's on the scoreboard, folks. We think it's different. Basket underneath. Wide open. Helton for the lay-in. 38-39-38 or 39, 38, Kings Mountain. Shelby with the ball underneath, shot blocked. George has it blocked. Ball loose, picked up by Hollifield. He puts it back up, no good, and he's fouled. Dan, I think uh, the uh, first free throw was good. The violation was on the second free throw. So, according to what I had, he missed the first free throw. No, he hit the first one. I'm pretty sure. Who was it? They hit it. Well, Hollifield just hit his first free throw. Right? That's right. 39 39. One more for Dax Hollifield. It's good. I got McLean down as hitting his first and missing the second here in this half. Is that the one we're talking about? That's it. That, 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 Andy's right. Okay. That's right. 40 to 39. 
Shelby, ball loose at midcourt. Shelby's put the pressure back on with the with the press. I'm trying to see if they're in a man or not. right now they're backed up in the man. But they are trapping it near half court on the first uh, first ball pass half court. In the corner, Cash with a three. And Kings Mountain by two, 42-40, Medical Arts Pharmacy scoreboard. Long three-pointer right side, gone for Patrick Weddle. First shot in 10 that he's hit. The big shot right there for Mr. Mr. Little. 43-42, Shelby. Kings Mountain against the press. Front court, McLean down the lane. Lays it up and in. 44-43, Mountaineers. Shelby front court. Right side, it goes to Houston. Underneath to George, his shot blocked. And free throws for R.J. George. George is making to the heavens right now. The referee bailed him out on that. He got his shot blocked. And the referee's going with the body. It's tough sledding down there for these Shelby big men. I mean, they're down six, eight inches. I was just looking at them. Free throw is no good. Yeah, Kevin, I think the tallest player in that starting lineup is six feet for Shelby. And they are giving up a lot of size underneath the Skidmore and Helton. Yeah, they got 6'1 and 6'2. They got Hollyfield listed at 6'2. But, I mean, the, the Skidmore and Helton are both listed at 6'7. So, there you go, five, six inches, depending on the haircut. 44 all. Hill loses it coming down the lane. Shelby on the break, layup good for Patrick Little. 46-44, Golden Lions. Hill oh. front court, fell down with it. That referee was not looking at the play, folks. He was not. Uh, Little got run over by Houston. I mean, it was an easy bump call. He got knocked over, and the referee wasn't looking. Shelby front court with a two-point lead. One minute to play third quarter. Campbell. Left side to Little, back to Campbell. Comes into the lane, puts up the jumper from 10. Good. 48 44 Shelby. Well, the Golden Lions back up by four. 40 seconds left, third quarter. Foul at midcourt on Dax Hollifield, reaching over the back. And that is four on Hollifield. I'm going to call that one a freshman mistake. You got the big man at mid 40. Trying to make a play. I mean, you got to be happy for him trying to make a play as a dandy coach, but he just don't want to foul at mid 40 on the big man like that. Hallfield goes to the bench, lead back in. Kings Mountain with the basketball. 30 seconds to play, third quarter. Hill, long three pointer. Missed everything. Rebound saved in to catch. He puts up a three, no good. Rebound missed underneath. Yep, it is. It's followed in by Skidmore. 48, 46, 12 seconds. Shot blocked underneath. Kimball trying to drive it. And against the timber underneath, had it blocked. 9.7 seconds left. Third quarter, Shelby basketball on the inbounds play. Out front to Kimball. Kimball in the lane, puts up the floater, gun. 50, 46, Shelby with two seconds. Cash. Gets it to McLean, puts it up at the buzzer, no good. And after three, Medical Arts Pharmacy scoreboard, Shelby leads Kings Mountain 50 to 46. Back in a minute. <clears throat> Tess. Carolina Energies is your heating and air service experts. They service all brands and feature complete installations. 24-hour service is available with on-call technicians. And this spring and summer, keep your family comfortable with a peace of mind service plan from Carolina Energies. It will keep you cool and save you money on costly repairs. For more information, call 704-482-9561. Carolina Energies. 515 North DeKalb Street in Shelby.
We go to the fourth quarter. Medical Arts Pharmacy scoreboard. Shelby 50. Kings Mountain 46 on the Medical Arts Pharmacy scoreboard. And it will be Shelby basketball to begin the fourth quarter. Inbounded to Kimball. Shelby again with the floor spread. Kimball the end of the lane. Ball loose underneath. And a whistle. And is that a foul on Shelby? Yeah, it's a foul. Take it on R.J. George. They called it on Lee. Dark as Lee. And he'll come out of the game. For Robert Coleman will enter the game now for the Shelby Golden Lions. Hill against pressure. Off to McLean. 7.40 left of the ball game. Hill across the timeline, comes into the lane, dishes it underneath to Helton, in the corner to McLean, his shot blocked, rebound to Houston of the Golden Lions. Houston gets it left side, three-pointer won't go, and the rebound to Kings Mountain. 7.20 left, McLean brings it front court for Kings Mountain, off to Cash, out on the left wing, Cash, Gets it to Skidmore, and he stepped out of bounds with it. Shelby basketball on the end line, 7-11 to play. 17 turnovers now for the Mountaineers on the ball game. 50-46 Shelby. Patrick Little into the lane. Dishes it underneath. George lays it up no good, but he will go to the free throw line. R.J. George shooting two. Seven minutes left. Free throw up. No good for George. Don't forget, next Friday night, right back here in Kings Mountain, the first place Crest Chargers come in to take on the Mountaineers. That's next Friday night here on WOHS and KTCBroadcasting.com. Next free throw from George is no good. Rebound Mountaineers. Skidmore to Helton. Lays it up on the duck. No good. Ball bounced up, hit the top of the backboard. He hit the wire up top. That's what they call the out of bounds on up there. Should just lay it in yeah. if you're not sure. I think he was sure of it, though. He, he slammed it pretty hard. He just missed it. I think he just totally missed it, Andy. You're right to lay it in, but yeah, he, he did it hard. <laughs> Shelby with the basketball up 50 to 46, 645 to play. Little behind the back dribble. This is it right side. Free pointer from Borders. No good. Rebound Kings Mountain. Helton off the hill. Six and a half left. Hill to cash right wing underneath the skin more, and he's found. <laughs> Reach in foul on the baseline. We're going to call that one right here in front of us. RJ Torres got every, every bit of Skidmore's wrist on that, on that one. Three fouls now on RJ George. Jacob Skidmore with a one and one. Skidmore puts it up and in. 50 to 47. One more coming for Jacob Skidmore. Up and in. 50 to 48. Shelby's lead at 2. 6 22 left in the ball game. Kimball front court. End of the lane. Dishes it underneath. Layup missed by George. Rebound. Kings Mountain. Cash front court drives on the baseline, puts it up no good, tipped up no good, rebound fought for, picked up by McLean, puts up a three, air ball, and on the rebound, Kimball is fouled by Demetrius Hill. Shelby basketball in the backcourt, six minutes to play. 50-48. Dan, I, it's not hooked up right there, buddy. It's, it's hooked up differently. 
Shelby missed shot. Kings Mountain with the basketball. Now there's front court Hill. This is left side to McLean. McLean puts up a long three pointer. Good! And Kings Mountain back in front 51 50. Little front court for the Golden Lions. Into the lane, lays it up, and it goes. 52 51 Shelby. Long pass front court underneath to Skidmore, or rather to Helton, to catch, layup, won't go. Rebound, Kimball. Kimball off to Little with 5.05 to play. Little down the lane, puts it up, no good. Rebound, Skidmore. Skidmore harassed in the backcourt, gets it off to McLean and a timeout on the floor. 4.53 left in the ball game. Shelby 52, Kings Mountain 51, back in 30 seconds. Hey, this is Woody Durham for Mark Dedman's Carolina Trophies in Shelby. Through the years, I've seen a lot of trophies and plaques, and none appear nicer than those which come from Mark Dedman's Carolina Trophies. Their guarantee is not just a guarantee, but a promise for courteous service, the absolute lowest price, quality products, on-time delivery, and most of all, your satisfaction. Awards for all occasions, plus rubber stamps and engraving. That's Mark Dedman's Carolina Trophies in Shelby. Court for Kings Mountain. In the lane, a runner won't go. Rebound, Lee for the Golden Lions. Off to Borders. Borders lays it up and in. 54 51, Shelby. Cash, front court for the Mountaineers. This is an underneath, wide open for the layup. Is Halton. 54 53, Shelby by one. 4.15 to play. Little front court for the Golden Lions. Working out front of the dribble. Comes into the lane. This is it right side to Borders. Three-pointer gun. 57-53. Shelby back up by four. Mountaineers front court. Hill out on the left wing. This is behind the circle to McLean and we got a couple of Mountaineers down on the floor apparently they collided with one another both uh, apparently taking head shots as they ran together and an injury timeout on the floor 344 to play fourth quarter Shelby 57 Kings Mountain 53 and we'll be back in one minute. And free throws for Josh Helton. 
333 to play, 57, 53 Shelby. Free throw on the one and one, no good. Campbell rebounds for Shelby. Brings it front court, down the lane, lays it up and in. 59-53. Shelby by six with 3.19 to play. Hill front court. 21 points, by the way, now for Kemple. Kings Mountain controlling out front. Hill back in the circle. Gets it off to Skidmore. Out front to McLean. McLean to Hill. Puts up a three left side. Won't go. Hollifield rebounds for Shelby. And he's fouled with 2.53 to play. Shelby not yet in the one and one. Shelby on the inbounds pass with 2.53 to play. Kemble brings it front court. Gets it off too little. Shelby with the floor spread, up by six. Little down the lane, puts it up. No good, but a foul on the Mountaineers. Fourth foul on Josh Helton. Patrick Little with two, free throw up and no good. One more coming. Little continues to struggle at the free throw line. One more coming for Little. It's good. Shelby by 7, 60 to 53 with 2.30 to play in the ball game on the Medical Arts Pharmacy scoreboard. McLean brings the front court for the Mountaineers. McLean, 15 foot jumper, no good, rebound, saved in, but picked up by Shelby. Here comes Kimball. In the corner, the three pointer is good for Patrick Little. And Shelby is up by 10, their biggest lead of the game, 63-53. McLean comes down the lane, and a foul on Shelby. Nelson McLean goes to the line, only 158 to play. And the Mountaineers, they're going to need a big comeback if they're going to yeah, come back and win this one, Dan. Right here, they need to get these points while the clock stops and they get one there. McLean with the free throw, bounces high and falls through. 63-54, one more for Nelson McLean. It's up and in. Well, we got a lane violation again on the Mountaineers. Take away the free throw. Shelby with a nine-point lead in the basketball, 155 to play. Kemble front court. Loses the ball, recovered by Hollifield. Back to Kemble. Kemble comes down the lane, puts it up from 10, won't go. Rebound, Golden Lions, shot blocked. Ball recovered by Hollifield. Gets it left side for the three-pointer from Kemble. Big night for Quay Kemble. And Kimball with a steal in the front court. 66 54 Shelby. 123 left. Lions with the basketball. Kimball down the lane. Gets it off to Little. Three pointer out of the corner. No good. Rebound again. Golden Lions borders. Three pointer left side. No good. Rebound to the goal, uh, rather to the Mountaineers. Kings Mountain coming front court. Ball stolen away by Kimball. At midcourt, then a foul on McLean, trying to take it back from Campbell. One minute to play, Shelby with a 12-point lead going to the free throw line. Qu 
Clay Kimball, who's had a big night offensively for Shelby. He has 24 points for the Golden Lions to lead the way. Kimball puts it up, spins out, rebound to Halton. Off the hill, the Mountaineers got to hurry. And a double dribble called on Demetrius Hill with 53 seconds to play. This is going to be a big win if it prevails for Shelby. And uh, what's this, five in a row for Shelby? Five wins in a row, I believe. Foul in the backcourt on the Mountaineers is called on uh, Sean Adams. And Clay Kemble back to the line with one and one. Kemble puts it up and in. 67-54 Shelby. One more coming for Kemble. It's good. 68-54 Lions by 14 with 47 seconds left. Mountaineers front court. Hill with a three-pointer back of the circle. Good. Timeout Kings Mountain. 42 seconds left in the ball game. Shelby 68. Kings Mountain 57. Back in 30 seconds. Baseball players rely on lots of coaches. First base, third base, pitching and catching. But when it comes to insurance, you only need one coach. An Allstate agent. They'll help you with your insurance game plan. Plus, Allstate agents can bundle your coverage for your car, apartment, boat, motorcycle, and more. So you've got all your bases covered. Are you in good hands? Your local Allstate agency is the Chris McDaniel Allstate Insurance Agency. 404 Cherville Road, crossing the YMCA in Shelby. Call 704-484-3463. Mountain, Shelby, big fourth quarter. They lead it by 11, 68-57 over Kings Mountain on the Medical Arts Pharmacy School Board. Shelby ball in the backcourt against full court pressure. Dark has Lee. Long pass stolen away by the Mountaineers. Helton throws it up short from three rebound to the Golden Lions and a foul in the backcourt on Demetrius Hill will send Quay Kemble back to the line. Looks like Coach Pierce doing everything he can to get he esc <laughs> escorted out of this game. Hey, and there's the tell you, I, I just caught it. He was doing everything he can to, to miss the last 33 seconds of this game, and there's this, there's the there's a technical. He wasn't happy about the call in the corner. He thought there was contact on the three from Skidmore, and he let the referee he held it down the court. Referee warned him, and he kept talking. Free throw for Kimball up and in. 69-57. Kimball with another coming. Up and in. You know, Kimball alone tonight at the free throw line could be the MVP. Yeah, he's, he's very close to being the MVP. Kimball will shoot the technicals. First one is no good. One more coming. 69-57, Shelby. One more for Campbell. Good. 70-57, Golden Lions. 33.4 left. Shelby basketball near midcourt. Hollifield gets it in to Little, and Little is fouled. Getting ready to tell you, Kimball with 29 points at this time. I would think that is the career high for Quay Kimball, Dan. I believe it is. Patrick Little will go to the line, puts it up, and around and in. 71-57, Shelby with 30.3 to play. One more for Patrick Little. Around and in, 72-57, Shelby by 15. Hill loses it at midcourt, recovered by Skidmore, puts up a jumper from 15 short, follow shot up and in by Helton, and a timeout on the floor. 
10.9 left to the ball game. Shelby 72, Kings Mountain 59 back in third seconds. Former club members Denzel Washington and Jennifer Lopez for the Boys and Girls Clubs. Every child follows a path in life. For many, that path will lead them to a door. A door that gives them a place to grow, to learn, to belong. A place to forge their future. You can change a child's future. Support your local Boys and Girls Clubs. Great futures start here. You can open doors for children to have great futures at the Boys and Girls Club of Cleveland County. Visit us at 412 West Sumter Street or at greatfutures.org. The Round Man, Oki Knipe, invites you into Oki's Town. Mountaineers of Kings Mountain. It will be Shelby basketball and the backcourt. Lee gets it into Hollifield to Kimball. Kimball breaks the front court with 13 seconds. Underneath, wide open, layup goes for Patrick Little. 74-59, Hill, three-pointer outside, won't go. Rebound, Shelby, and that does it. Shelby wins it over the Kings Mountain Mountaineers. Final score on the Medical Arts Pharmacy scoreboard is Shelby 74, Kings Mountain 59. Back with the post game in three minutes on WOHS and KTCBroadcasting.com. Tire and Service Center for all your tire and auto service needs. Oki gives you the best value in tires, both new and used tires, and they'll mount and balance your tires free. Come into Oki Service Center for all your service needs, including radiator flush, brakes, tune-ups, oil changes, and state inspections. Serving Cleveland County since 1978. That's right, over 35 years. Oki's Tower and Service Center, 800 West Warren Street in Shelby. Summertime. Kids in and out of the house, pets bringing in all types of creatures inside with them, and you wondering how in the world are you going to keep your carpet clean. Keys Carpet and Floor Covered in Shelby has some great carpet cleaning products, but if you need new carpet or floor covering, they have great prices too, with professional installation. So don't you get the summertime blues, put the top down and chill out with a stop at Keys Carpet and Floor Covering, 1162 East Marion Street in Shelby, your floor covering headquarters in this area. The best deals of the year is going on right now at Camper's Inn in Kings Mountain. Hundreds of thousands of dollars in savings are going on right now. New Canyon Cat 27-foot bunkhouse travel trailers on sale for $13,990. New Vengeance 5th Wheel Toy Haulers on sale for $39,990. And new Class A Motorhomes for $69,990. See Brian Good and his team for the best selection of new and used RVs around. Campers in Highway 161 South at 95 Kings Mountain. Experience, quality, and guaranteed service. That's what you get from Shelby Transmission Specialist. They do straight drives and automatic transmissions. They can repair and rebuild transmissions and sell parts as well. So if you have transmission trouble, see the experts, Al Hamrick, Lyle Reynolds, and Jimmy Stepp at Shelby Transmission Specialist, 734 and Alley Drive, just off Highway 226 North in Shelby. Call 704-482-8756 for Shelby Transmission Specialist. Everybody knows a game is better with a goal. The goal is better with announcers. Goal! Announcers are better in the movies. In a world with no plot. Movies are better with fast cars. Cars are better when they take you to McDonald's. McDonald's is better with Coke. Coke is even better when it's a buck. Get any size Coca-Cola soft drink or sweet tea for $1 at McDonald's. And it really doesn't get any better than that. The simple joy of better. At participating McDonald's, a la carte only. For a limited time, get home propane delivery for only $1.79 a gallon. That's right, only $1.79 a gallon from Energy Direct in Shelby. Plus, check out their low prices on oils and tractor fuels. They have pumps, grease guns, filters, antifreeze, and more. And if you're a farmer, Energy Direct has special prices for you. Energy Direct. 
They promise to beat anybody's price. Located at 413 South Lafayette Street in Shelby, your Phillips 66 distributor. Call 704-482-0351. Beaver Dam Auto Auction is a fan. 74 59, the final score on the Medical Arts Pharmacy scoreboard. And joining me courtside, a couple of the stars for the Golden Alliance, Patrick Little. Patrick, congratulations. Great win tonight. Talk about uh, how well you guys played against the Good Kings Mountain team. You know, we came out, you know, real small. We got to come out that road. Back and forth, box out, you know, get rebounds, hit our free throws. We came back and did it a little bit in uh, the first half. And we came out second half, give us a close to We saw you last week against uh, the R Central Hilltoppers, a game in which you were able to spread the floor and they stayed back in that zone and you were able to, to uh, beat them in the, the spread last week. And a uh, uh, good strategy tonight, I thought, by the Golden Lions, especially defensively. Talk about your defense tonight. Our defense was not. It was, it was a little shaky at the first beginning, but coach talked to us, you know, got a pump, then had time, telling me to come out, do what we're supposed to do, and we got the job done. Well, with the win, you're over 500 in the conference now, and really playing some good basketball. Uh, you, do you feel the team is really coming together now at this point of the season? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We done got real better at doing what we're supposed to be doing. Practice. Enough stepping up. All right, Patrick, great job tonight. And, uh, Thanks. Good luck the rest of the way. Mm-hmm. Patrick Little, let's get uh, the leading scorer in tonight's game. Way Campbell. Way, you had a great night offensively. A lot of penetration in the lane tonight. Talk about your game tonight. Uh, I was just trying to get open shots. And, like, normally if I miss shots, I try to drive, get to the rack, and dish it off to the players. And I guess I was feel it tonight. And, had a lot of shots at the free throw line tonight, which was a big part of your game. Yeah. Talk about the Shelby defense tonight against a, a team that with a lot of size. Coach Dillers, let them make a shoot, but they're not a really good shooting team except for Nelson. But um, we just got to, he told us we got to box out and play some good defense and we come out with the win. Of course, uh, Shelby this season, not a big team, but the, you guys do a great job boxing out underneath. Well, a, a big victory tonight. Uh, as I mentioned to Patrick, you go over 500 in the conference, and this was a big win for you. Yes, sir. All right, to Quake, congratulations. Great job tonight, and good luck the rest of the way. Thank you, sir. Quake Kimball, star of the game for the Golden Lions, and let's get uh, Coach Hollifield in now. Coach? Yes, sir. Congratulations. Uh, Great job here tonight. Thank you. We needed that one bad. Well, this is a, a Kings Mountain team that's played well all year long. It was and great team. It was and great team. really are. And uh, you matched up with them despite their huge height advantage underneath tonight. Well, we, you know, uh, you know, it was, it, it was kind of like a David and Goliath type of thing. And we, you know, despite missing 19 free throws, I think we still were able to execute the, our plan and and do the things that we uh, that we wanted to. You know, we 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 forced the ball in there, and, and I guess I guess it wouldn't be forced, but we we got the ball in to the lane and got some of the bigs in troubles and got uh, McLean, who is you know he's arguably probably neck and neck with the uh, boy over at Crest for Player of the Year in the conference in trouble, and that that really helped. I think he had to sit about most of the half, and so did the big Skidmore which helped us get comfortable in what we were doing, you know, and the more comfortable we get, the more confident we'll get. And, you know, just things, you know, so it was our night. That's really it because I, I, I really believe he's got a, a pretty good team, just one of those things where it's our night. What a great job by Quay Kimball controlling oh. the basketball. Had 29 points according to our unofficial stats. Oh, man, I didn't realize that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great, awesome. great ball game. Yeah, he did, a, he did a great job. And, and, you know, he's been there for us all year. He's a... I guess you'd call him a super sophomore. He does a pretty good job. He, uh, he he controls our team, gets the ball in the lane, gets the ball into the basket if he needs to, gets the ball to the right person if he has to. 
Uh, but, you know, he just does a great job. He's a, he's a, he's a special kid, good kid, too. I mean, you know, he, he had the flu today, too. Did he tell you that? No, he didn't say. He, he was sick about half the day. He, he uh, went to the doctor this morning, got some medicine, then uh, got, came in about, uh, about 11, and then uh, finished out the day with us. And, you know, he's been kind of dragging. But, you know, Michael Jordan had that flu game, too. Well, this, I guess, is his flu game. That's right. A great athlete just can overcome the yes, flu, it, You know, and he'll probably crash tonight and, and all day Saturday and Sunday. But, uh, but you know, he'll, he did a great job tonight. He did a great job. Talk about R.J. George. He gets underneath there and battles. Uh, he's not the bit tallest guy on the no. floor, but he uses his size well, underneath. He's got the big old butt, that big old, I guess, can you say butt? Yeah, we'll say it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's got that big old tail, and he just – uses that body and is able to get that ball up on the rim and, and keeps fighting for the rebounds and keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. He, you know, he's, he's a good little player, too. You know, he transfers. He's a winner. You know, he's a winner in football, and it just translates right onto the basketball court. He, he does what he has to do, and, and, he, and he's a good player, too, great player. I got three good seniors, really do. And then I got Robert, who's a great player, too. Yeah. Patrick Little uh, certainly has been a spark plug for you all year long. Yeah. And he did a, another great job. He and uh, Kimball can control the ball out front for you. They do. They do. They put they put other people's guards in bad situations, and uh, they know that's that's what we, that's about all we because we're not we're young and we're not very tall, so that's about all we got. I mean, we got good role players that come in and step in, but those are our those are our two meat and potatoes guys. Well, this win gets you over 500 in the conference, and certainly a big win. I think we I think it's actually double over. Okay, it was two six over. four, two over. Yeah. Okay, six yeah. and four, okay. two over. Yeah. So you're you're playing in the right direction, right? Yeah, now. And, and you know I think football got us off to a late start, and you know that being young, that that's a that's a whole new thing. But I I, I told them the other day at practice, I, I said, fellas, your defense is really coming along. You're getting a lot better defensively. We're quitting. We're quit gambling. We're quitting doing all that uh, reaching and all that. Now we still do it a little. Bit, and I have to harp on it, but we. We've committed to practicing hard at defense and, uh, during practice, and, it, and it's starting to pay dividends. So, you know, that's that's a that's a bonus. And, and when you get a win like this, and you get a win the other night like we did, uh, those are just that, that that helps me stress what I need to yeah. stress to them. Yeah. <laughs> well, so confidence is uh, certainly is. a big key for any it team. Is, it is. Well, congratulations, Thank coach. You. Outstanding win tonight. Best of luck the second half of the season. Thank you. We're, we're gonna, we, we needed that one badly. It was, it was a big one for us. So thank you. Congratulations, Coach. Thank Good you. Job, thank you. I appreciate thank it. Thank, thank you. you. Coach Aubrey Hollifield, his post-game comments as Shelby wins by 15 tonight over the Mountaineers. All right, Dan, you ready for your game-ending stats here? And don't yeah, forget well, about me when right, you get done. Hold on just a minute. All right, Dan's gonna. I'll, get, I'll tell you what. I'll go ahead and do the. Te- I'll go ahead and do the team stats real quick. Team stats: 21 rebounds for Shelby. They were out rebounded, actually 36-21. And they usually don't win by 14 points when you get out rebounded by almost double. Uh, the big, the big story of the night, uh, like we talked about at halftime, it continued in the second half. The turnover game. Kings Mountain ended up with a total of, by my count, 21 turnovers, guys, for Kings Mountain. Shelby, they only had eight. So 13 turnovers, uh, countless points off turnovers uh, to give Shelby the big lead. Um, Shelby tonight, 19 of 47 from the field. They were 9 of 19 from the three-point range. So uh, split 10 10 twos and 9 threes, so really split right down the middle as far as the shooting. Uh, Kings Mountain tonight, 22 of 51, right at 40% from the field. Not not too good of a night there. Um, 8 of 25 from 3, that's where they really missed it. They, uh, Shelby, uh, the coaches, the players, they kind of hit into that about uh, Kings Mountain. You know, if, they get, if, if they're kind of a streaky shooting team, not, of a, not a consistently good shooting team. <clears throat> and, that, and they held Kings Mountain 8 of 25 from 3, uh, under 33%. So that, that's where it killed Kings Mountain. So, so just looking at it tonight on, on my end, Kings Mountain tonight uh, lost big time on a three-point line, lost big time in the turnover battle. They dominated the board, so... Uh, real quick, some uh, stats. Uh, Kings Mountain Hill had uh, six assists and four rebounds. Uh, Cash, six rebounds. And the big man tonight for Shelby, uh, Skidmore had seven rebounds, five blocks. Helton had 15 boards tonight to lead the uh, teams. He almost had many boards as Shelby by himself, and he also had three blocks. For the Shelby Golden Lions, Kimball, the all-around uh, player right now, he actually led the team in rebounding, too, six boards and four assists. Hollyfield, five rebounds 
and uh, number 23, uh, four rebounds. Nobody else over two or three, any, any other stats. R.J. George had kind of an all-around game. He had three rebounds, three assists, and three steals. All right, Dan. Okay, let's quickly go over the point totals. Uh, uh, first for the uh, Golden Lions, they were led by DeMar Quay Kimball. Kimball in tonight with 29 points on the night. 29 points on the night by Kimball to lead the Golden Lions scoring. Also, Patrick Little ended up with a big night, 21 points scoring. Also for Shelby Knight, uh, 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 Lee scored one point. Uh, also at the uh, Arquez Lee, one point, eight points uh, scored by R.J. George. Uh, also scoring tonight for Shelby, eight points for for uh, Borders uh, among the scorers tonight for Shelby, five points for uh, R.J. Uh, I told you eight points for Great for George and Hollifield into the night tonight. Uh, Dax into the night with uh, eight points on the night for Kings Mountain. Scoring went this way. Uh, Hill uh, had ten points. Tw- uh, two points for Adams, also scoring two points for uh, Crocker. Uh, Cash, I beg you for you, Parton had six points, ten points for McLean, uh, also in double figures for the Mountaineers, six points for uh, Starr, uh, 11 points for uh, Skidmore tonight for Kings Mountain, nine points for Helton. So, uh, Keynes Mountain more balanced scoring. Shelby had a couple of big time scores, Andy, in tonight's uh, score sheet. All right, Dan, time now for an SNR Auto Sales player of the game for the Shelby Golden Lions. No doubt about it. Uh, the point guard Quay Kimball had a career high 29, leading Shelby to this 15 point victory tonight. He just had a great night. Pretty consist- consistent free throw line and had a good night from both three-point land and two-point land tonight, and it uh, totaled up to 29 points. He's our SNR Alton Sales overall player of the game. Andy, next week, back here. Yeah, another big one in the SPAC conference, and Kings Mountain now trailing a crest, uh, depending on what the Chargers did tonight. They could be two games out of first place after losing tonight, Dan. And, and Crest was playing the uh, tonight as well. I think maybe RS Central. RS tonight. Central, and I believe you're right. It is RS Central, and uh, RS can be tough some nights, sometimes. Uh, but uh, uh, it, the Chargers were at their peak. Uh, they, they won that game tonight at RS. So uh, tomorrow, next Friday night, the Chargers, Crest Chargers, here against the Mountaineers at Kings Mountains Parker Gymnasium. Uh, in the girls' game earlier tonight, the Shelby girls won 50 to 38 over the Kings Mountain girls. And in the boys game on the Medical Arts Pharmacy scoreboard, Shelby a winner uh, of the game tonight over the Mountaineers uh, by a 74 to 59 score. For our studio producer, Steve Roberts, for our video producer tonight, Kevin Hastings, and our cameraman, Andre Bush. For Andy Foster, I'm Dan Greer. Again, reminding you of tonight's score, the Golden Lions defeat the Mountaineers 50, uh, 74 to 59. The Ronaldo Auto Mall Cleveland County High School basketball game of the week is a presentation of KTC Broadcasting. Good night. God bless everybody. Family owned and operated business that has been open for 32 years. Auctions are open to dealers and the public. Beaverdown is located on 16 paved acres with four lanes under one roof. Sales are held every Wednesday at 7 p.m. with vehicle previews starting at 9 a.m. on the day of the sale. Beaver Dam Auto Auction, just off Highway 74 West at 